Hey everybody, it's Chrissy Key Rollins here and I just wanted to pop on because every Wednesday I'm committed to bringing you a bite-sized mindset shift video to help you to think in a different direction. When we look at things in a different direction, it opens up different options and choices and when we make a different option and choice, we're guaranteed to get a different result in life. And today, I co-hosted, along with my partner in crime, uh, co-hosted a leadership luncheon here in my local town to support the socially, socially responsible leaders in our area and we were talking about the toxic relation shift a fresh perspective on dealing with toxic people and toxic environments and how to maintain your confidence and your energy when facing a toxic person or finding yourself in toxic circumstances and this is the mindset shift I'd love to offer to you and I want to engage in further conversation with you about this so let me know your thoughts after you listen to this little bit I'm going to share with you now, first and foremost, let me say, if you are somebody who is experiencing a toxic relationship that is harmful to your physical well-being on any level, it is your responsibility to keep yourself safe first and foremost and to remove yourself from any harmful situations. What I have to share is not about letting other people off the hook. It's about empowering yourself to see yourself from a different perspective so that you can experience others from a different perspective as well. And this is the mindset shift I want to share with you in regards to toxic people and toxic situations. The way that we end toxic relationships and toxic cycles in our life is by looking to end one and one only toxic relationship. And that is the toxic relationship that you have with yourself. If you are unkind to yourself, if you speak harshly to yourself, if you treat yourself anything less than the kindness, the love, the support that you pour into others, and you also find yourself dealing with a lot of toxic peoples and surrounded in a lot of toxic environments, I encourage you, urge you, invite you to take a look at what is your relationship like with yourself. Because if your relationship with yourself is toxic, if you have toxic thinking about yourself, if you're feeding yourself toxic foods that don't support you, if you are allowing yourself to stay and remain in toxic, unsupportive environments, the only way or the best way to support yourself in changing these toxic cycles is by ending the toxic cycle that you have with yourself. And what you start to realize when you take this journey on, or what I realized for myself, is that these toxic people and toxic environments were just evoking the unresolved toxicity that I was carrying within myself. And as I learned to heal those aspects of myself, to detox my relationship with myself, it was a natural side effect for me to start making choices that better supported me, that allowed me to find and use my voice to end toxic cycles that I was allowing to continue to occur. Because even if somebody else is being toxic towards you or towards me, I realize that I'm still participating in that cycle. And while I can't change other people, I can change the way that I show up. And I didn't change how I showed up until I changed the way that I was showing up for myself. So I would love to know your thoughts. What do you think about this perspective on toxic people, toxic environments, and the toxicity that's within yourself? Because this approach has inspired me to open up a beta testing opportunity for those that are interested in having a breakthrough with their body, their physical body, their emotional body, and their spiritual body. And I found that by doing a series of internal work, and shifts and changing the way that I related to myself and healing the toxicity within myself, it actually allowed me to create a greater level of peace, ease, and fulfillment in my life that resulted in a healing of my relationships, a healing of my relationship with myself, and an expression of my physical body in a way that I've never experienced it before in releasing 60 pounds and consistently maintaining it with absolute ease for over seven months now. And this from the girl who's been on the weight loss roller coaster for the majority of her life. I've lost weight before, but I always found it quicker <laughs> and way more easily than it took me to get it off my body. But I found by resolving these things within myself, my body was naturally compliant and showed up completely different because I started showing up differently for her. And I've 
condensed my journey into a beautiful 30 day program that I am testing out with a small group of people right now. And you can be one of them. So if you're somebody who's craving a different experience of your physical body, of your emotional internal body, or just a different experience of yourself as you're going through life, I encourage you to reach out to me to visit my website. You can go to holisticrestoration.com forward slash forward slash body balance, or you can go to my bit.ly body balance now, and you can find out all the information for the beta opportunity. It's already underway. You can start within 24 hours of signing up. You will start to receive these messages. You will start to receive this insight and wisdom that will help you to have a breakthrough with your body and finding your balance. Unlike anything you've ever experienced before. Go to my website, check out the information. I'll drop a link below so that it's easy for you to find too. And either way, I want to know, what do you think about this shift in the way that you're viewing toxicity within yourself and the world around you? And let me know your thoughts on how you handle toxic environments. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can catch more of my Watch This Wednesday easy, simple little mindset tips and all the other great information that I use this channel to get out to the world. So please subscribe, share this video with others, and let me know how does this perspective work for you? How does it land for you? And what do you do when you find yourself in toxic environments and dealing with toxic people? All right. I look forward to having this conversation with you further, and I will see you again soon. Have a great day. Bye.